show. I have notes. Um, it's live. We here. Hello, guys. Uh, before I get really into it, want to say thank so you to our sponsor. <laughs> so into it. Want to say thank you to our sponsor, ExpressVPN. Today's show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Your data is your business. Go to expressvpn.com slash rttv to learn more about protecting your data on the internet um hi guys uh i said we're live right i said it like five different times right now um do you want to join us in chat uh create a rooster teeth account uh accounts are free and then that means if you sign up and you've never signed up before you can have a first uh free trial so you can join us in chat because you gotta be a first member to be in chat. And then if you're not, I mean, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> do it, please. I do it. Uh, welcome to the show. I have notes, a uh, show where a bunch of us at RT come together. Uh, what is it? What's our catchphrase? Uh, surprisingly long list of IMDb credits. Um, we talk about. <laughs> oh God, I this I fucked this up so much right now. We talked about. <laughs> Animation. We talk all things animation, being creative, and also asking if you can refleet something this on is, Twitter. This is already my favorite episode. <sighs> <laughs> I am your host uh, today. I am Issa Badiola. Uh, with me is my lovely co-host who says this is his favorite episode. This so is my far. favorite episode by far. Hello, <laughs> I'm Carrie Shawcross. That's what. Uh, if you need to to find me, that's the name. Um, with us. <laughs> Uh, we have two very special guests, never been on before. Um, never, never, ever. Never. never I ever. didn't introduce you yet. Aaron Wynn. Oh, oh it's Oscar Pye. Oski boy. Oh, it's Oski oh, boy. It's, it's him. Oh, it's weird. I have this like weird, like innate desire to punch him. Uh, <laughs> and also joining us for the first time ever, Mr. Jordan Sweers. <laughs> wow. Oh, hey, gr- <laughs> Are you doing your 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 Christopher Nolan oh. impression over there? <laughs> no, I'm just trying not to die while you guys do this intro. That oh, the good know. intro. Yeah. We... Jordan, you're just saying before the show. You're glad you never have to do you never anything. Do it. Yeah, do you want yeah. the intro? Hey, you we can start this it? over. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, let's go to Jordan's. Let's go to Jordan's camera. Hey, Mike. If we could go to Jordan's camera and oh uh, fading in on three. You guys are supposed two, to have the catchy intro. One. Done. That's dun, what makes dun, the show. Dun, 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 That's what dun, makes it memorable. Dun, go, Jordan, I feel like every go, time you're on, dun, dun, you Jordan, do this go. on purpose oh, Jordan, to <laughs> make me go insane. Dun, 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 and uh, give us the intro now. Go to imdb.com. <laughs> <laughs> See? Not not so easy, is it, Mr. Swears? <laughs> not so fucking easy now, is it? Our charm, our charm <laughs> is we're not... We're not the hot rod, but we're not the junkyard car either, right? We're like the project like car. Oh, so we're transformers. We're Yeah. Bumblebee, we're like right? we're like yeah, we're we're a bumblebee in the first Transformers movie as uh, Bumblebee. Mega Megan Fox was like opening it oh, yeah. and it's like, oh mm-hmm. Oh wow. Look, so she's <laughs> what's her age in this movie? I don't know. Um that's that's who we are. Imagine her opening the trunk and be like, "Oh wow, that's a trunk. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Does wow. this go, this goes vroom vroom fast? <laughs> no, guys, she's not like other girls. She knows how cars work. This isn't even. A she uses word. words like intake manifold. Yeah, and carburetor. Hey, don't even get me started. I, I rewatched the first Fast and Furious movie over the weekend for breakfast. This is how I described it to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> you watched it for breakfast. Oh, oh man! This room, wow. <laughs> if you, you, oh my! If you, okay, we have other stuff we can get into, whatever. But I'm just saying, if you haven't seen the first Fast and the Furious movie, especially lately, just go watch it again. It is pure joy. I know, dude. I almost had you. You never had me. <laughs> you never had your car. <laughs> Granny shift and double Kate clutching like, been like you should. Almost Kate had me. Kate has been me. watching them recently like live vlogging all of her reactions like watching this oh, yeah. for the first time yeah. it is <laughs> they're amazing I, they're amazing also i didn't realize how many fucking movies there are jesus yeah. christ oh yeah that's <laughs> it's been right. like a two-week saga you know some people watch the lord of the rings extended editions during december some oh, of us yeah. watch fast and the furious <laughs> man oh, i did that I once i watched all three lord of the rings movies in one day how long and... did that take 
The, the, the day. Day. About is it, 12 <laughs> hours. Is, is it actually... Day. Wait, how long are the extended editions? The extended oh, editions like are even three longer. Hours each. Yeah, I didn't even... I mean, regular movies are three hours each. I didn't do extended version. Oh, God. But, <laughs> yeah, oh, it, was about a, it was about a 10 to 12-hour thing. Um, I was losing my mind at the end. <laughs> but with how good it is? <laughs> no, just like how like you really want it to be over because you've been watching the, these movies all day, and then that last movie just won't end. It does have a lot of... It has as many endings as there are movies. Okay, so according to... Uh, <laughs> Uh, bingeclock.com uh, oh new God. sponsor um, <laughs> uh, the Lord of the Rings trilogy and the Hobbit trilogy extended oh, editions no. together oh no 19 hours and 39 hours. minutes holy fuck that's a, why hey why not <laughs> I mean do you remember that movie festival um, oh uh, but numathon but numathon yeah what? they would It'd be oh, a 24 hour film nom. festival. Oh, no. okay. And they would show. I said butt nom. Like you're going to take a bite out of that ass. No, it's like a. <laughs> uh, it's butt Vietnam. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Butt nam. Because <laughs> cause you have PTSD when, you, when yeah. you get out of the theater. It's when you have like a bad Taco Bell experience. Okay, anyways, do you want to talk about it? But yeah, they, they would sneak in like some new movies that are like not out yet and. Um, but just they like classic, you on the way. classic fun movies, yeah, and like you couldn't you couldn't leave or something. Like you had to be in the theater for twenty four hours. Oh, I think no, thank you. I think Bernie went a few times. Uh, I was always jealous because it sounded cool, but in hindsight, I'm glad I never got to go because I think I, I don't think I would have made I, it. So Bernie's a butt nom veteran, is what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> Bernie, Bernie's had some num, <laughs> num cheeks before. Fuck um, <laughs> I he served in butt nom, yes. <laughs> okay. Um, oh. uh, yeah, I, I don't think I could do that. I, I have unless it's the Fast and the Furious franchise, I have a hard time with movies right now. Um I hey, 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 I've got a good segue. What's your problem with movies? I've got a good segue. I just have ADHD. Okay. Um I've got a good segue. You know, one of the things I love is being able to, you know, pause a movie and maybe, you know take a little break, run to the restroom oh without missing anything. Uh, you know, and this is not an ad, but, you know, with HBO Max now, they just announced we're going to be able to do that this year. Uh, and some people aren't happy about that. Oh, my God. That's my segue. Well, I think I think most consumers are happy about that. Yeah. I mean, I when I heard the news, it was like, this is exactly what I wanted. Yeah. This is what 2020 should have been. Because right. we never got, like, we never got Tenet on, like, the screener app that we have but well okay yeah that's also that. hyper specific um, but yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah but like but they, they they've been trying some things with like putting some things up on hbo max or just like we're charging 30 dollars for like a yeah or like version. the shit disney's doing yeah. and then realized well maybe we'll just put it up on disney plus or whatever mm -hmm. and then yeah hbo max was kind of like okay we'll do this with wonder woman and they're like fuck it we'll do it with all of 2021's movies yeah so so yeah. which is great uh, because movie theaters aren't coming back next year mm -hmm. like it's not just you're not going to flip a switch and everything's back to normal yeah so, so it, was, it was i think it's like 18 movies are going to day that date is crazy be in yeah. it be in theaters for those that are doing it safely uh, or stupidly mm -hmm. not safely um and <laughs> also on hbo max um i i didn't read anywhere that like that it's like a, an additional price or anything 17 films excuse me um, I believe it just comes with it. It's not like the Mulan thing where they, <laughs> yeah, they thirty dollars for like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um, the HBO movies, HBO Max movies specifically, will be in theaters and also will be on the HBO Max platform for the first thirty days yeah. um, that they are releasing. That's that's a great deal. That's a great. That's great, awesome. that's, that's a that's big dope. dick energy. <laughs> I. I, I <laughs> like I, wow, I, fucking murdered. Disney and they have so many <laughs> movies that like were supposed to come out already like yeah. even wonder woman got got pushed to december yeah. so like these movies that are that are coming out next year were movies that were already supposed to be out yeah no. this year mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so yeah so yeah when i when i said some people are, are not happy it seems to be more people in the industry it's, it's christopher uh, nolan well it's <laughs> it's it's, nolan. it's anybody who has it built into their contracts uh that they get stuff exactly. on the back end based off of ticket sales exactly <laughs> oh, exactly which I see. Yeah, Which, there, you you don't have to think about it too hard to figure out why people are mad. Yeah. Oh. And and 
uh, we can take that part aside, right? Like, no, I'm not saying that I uh, love or hate that practice. I don't like it. But yeah, no, that's I would be mad if I was Christopher Nolan too. But right. I'm not, and I'm happy. Exactly, because like <laughs> I, I, I would like to see Tenet, and there's a lot of movies I'd like to see, but I ain't fucking going out. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I, I don't, I don't buy Blu-rays anymore. Um, <gasps> yeah, same. So streaming is like the only way I watch movies. Yeah, yeah. I had I had the mo like I don't know if this is a millennial moment or like a 2020 moment. I don't know what this was, but I was trying to it was it was Inception. I was trying to uh. watch Inception the other day. I wanted to rewatch it, uh, and like I couldn't find it on any streaming service, and I got like annoyed, and then I got annoyed at myself for being annoyed. Because, like, my first thought was, like, how the fuck is Inception not on any streaming platform in 2020? That is a little strange. Um, Ooh. How is it not on HBO Max? Yeah. (laughs) I do have answer. But uh, do you want to finish your story, Carrie? Oh, that was, I was just mad. (laughs) Oh, that was it? Yeah. (laughs) You're mad? Sometimes I'm mad. There's no resolution. (laughs) No. Well, part of, I can at least answer where Inception went in terms of it was on Netflix. It, it went into a, another streaming service inside of another service. streaming yes, service. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it was on Netflix until like a certain month or of a point this year. And then I think they their contract probably got um, done. So it's not on Netflix anymore if it's not on there. Uh, <laughs> on HBO Max? <laughs> yeah, I don't know how all of Nolan's movies aren't on there already. Maybe, yeah, maybe, they, um, maybe they've had some beef for a little bit. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's pissed about it. Yeah. (laughs) Clearly. (laughs) I mean, yeah, if he wasn't mad about, like, this isn't, like, a Scorsese-esque about, like, oh, the theater is an experience and movies are an art art form meant to be experienced in the theater because he didn't seem to have a problem with the Tenet trailer going out on Fortnite or whatever the hell happened with that. (laughs) Oh, my God. This is clearly, like, bottom line, he's going to lose money on this deal. Hang on. But also, he probably lost money because of the pandemic and the way Tenet was released here. So, And it it sounds like, and the problem with this is that he's not going to necessarily make more money from this, but the people who own the rights to the movie are. Yeah. Uh, you're, okay. But also, he doesn't like he doesn't have any movies coming out next year. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe his production company, or maybe he's producing something. I don't know. Maybe. But mm. like, I, I, I just don't understand like the ripping of it. Uh, unless you're just like, no, oh, I'm. This isn't the way it's done. Movies should be in movie theaters. Which like, it's it, of all of the the the, he seems like he would be that kind of person. Which yeah. which I can respect too. I mean, like he because I know like a lot of his he shoots on like the the IMAX camera. The mm-hmm. seventy-two millimeter, whatever it is, seventy-four. I don't know. Um, Jor- I, I, there's something you said, Jordan, and uh, this is not me trying to say that this has ever happened with any of our things, but <laughs> I have a feeling he probably wasn't thrilled about the Fortnite thing, <laughs> <laughs> but that probably it was worth a lot of money, and he didn't have the final word on it. Would be my mm-hmm. guess. Mm. What is yeah, that's fair, but is. clearly he and has that's no not, that's qualms. Not a, that's not uh, yeah. saying anything about Fortnite. Has, that's just about, like, brand things. Yeah, but he has no qualms about being critical, uh, apparently. Uh, sure. So, yeah. I don't is know. Kenny it's just art? interesting when, when he's deciding no, PG-13, to speak up. I, think, oh. Aaron. Mm-hmm. I was going to say, like, what a weird uh, platform to <laughs> air the trailer, because I feel like Fortnite's <laughs> demographic is a little bit younger. Yeah. I think, uh, oh, Al just corrected me, 75 millimeter, thank you. I, I think that you should only be able to watch Tenet if you have a positive Katie ratio in Fortnite. <laughs> I think you should Oof. have to fucking earn it. How many chicken dinners do you need to have to... Wait, that's a different game. That, um, see, now... Hey, Jordan, <laughs> you're never allowed to see it. You're, I already um, saw it, bitch. Hey, guess what? Men in Black... <laughs> uh, uh, it's gone. No. It's gone. I just inceptioned into your mind, and I fucking I oh, took man. your totem, and I, I snapped it. No. Now I'm now I'm inverted. Wait, I haven't watched the movie. I don't know what that word means. <laughs> Did y'all know that Tenet is like a it's like race car? It's a palindrome, yes. Yeah, race car. It's, it's kind of the, Taco the point. Cat. It's like a race car. It Taco goes vroom vroom wow. Yeah, vroom vroom wow. <laughs> wow. That's a car. Um, last last thing on this is just like I think it's a sign that and this is this was a um idea from from the top the ceo of warner media who Mm -hmm. used to work at hulu 
mm. a company that itself was a disruptor. And I think this is a move in keeping with the spirit of 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 disrupting things because mm. you can you can tell Whoa. 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 Oh no, I'm inverted. Um, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> um, Tenet's falling out of your brain right now. <laughs> um, you can you can tell when people who work in the industry aren't happy with the decision, but the consumers are. Mm -hmm. That's how you can tell that like disruption is happening because like it's very consumer based. And if everyone who is a fan of movies is happy about this, then I think it's a win. Yeah, I I I, I agree. I mean, I. I've, I mean, it makes, I, I've struggled to understand why outside of like basically big companies lobbying, like why not have multiple distribution platforms so that just more people see things. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. like I, 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 it, it's like, if I'm going to see it personally, if I'm going to see a movie in, in theaters, I'm going to see in theaters. I, I don't mind waiting if I'm not going to. So it's like, mm -hmm. I, I don't mm -hmm. just, just, just do it. Well, I mean, They've declared. This I mean, I might be more likely. I might be more likely to watch some of these movies in this format than I was going to the movie theater. Like, I, there I are definitely ones agree. that are like slam dunks. I'm going to go see, but you know, now that some of these are going to be available on like a Thursday or Friday night, I'm like I'm not doing anything. I'm going to check this out instead of going instead of spending the money to go see it in a the theater. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, and and I guess their their hope is you know, that that's going to entice you to keep your subscription a little bit more. And, and then, mm -hmm. but it, is it worth the chance that you might have gone and seen that movie in theaters and gotten them more money that way? I don't, yeah. I, I don't, I also don't know how a lot of this shit works. I just, again, yeah, we, we kind of talked about this when, uh, onward came out on Disney plus where it's like, how do you, yeah, Blue what are the metrics? What are the metrics that indicate that like, people signed up mm -hmm. specifically because of this and like what is the how does the money transfer like you know box uh box office wise so you know it's it i guess it's inherently risky because you don't know but mm -hmm. if your goal is to get people to sign up for hbo max this is an interesting way to do it it, it definitely it seems like a consumer focused move that mm -hmm. which is i would feel like pretty rare in the entertainment industry yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, one that's like bogged down with multiple interests, trying to get every ring out every every rat scent out of you in the movie. Squeeze <laughs> <Rat laughs> that butter out. Mm. <laughs> um, we do have a cup a few more movie news on our topic sheet. Oh, yeah, very movie focused. Oh yeah, very movie focused. Um, oh, I have a segue Oscar. for this one. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, okay. Issa. no, Issa, okay. please. <laughs> One Oscar Let's Isaac see. is uh has been announced to be Solid Snake. Okay, that was upcoming. that was hey, uh uh okay, Aaron and Jordan, we're gonna play a new game. Rate the segue, rate the segue. <laughs> oh, Who no. did it better? So that was Isis. Um mine is have y'all heard the news? Cause my snake is solid. <laughs> Oscar Isaac's gonna be playing Solid Snake in the new Metal Gear Solid movie. Okay. Uh now on a scale of one to Five because that's how many Solid Snake games there were, Metal Gear games there were. <laughs> well, technically, um, Carrie. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Pull you your fucking play glasses Solid down your Snake nose. In all of those. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I pathetic. I, I, I like him, so I'm, I'm happy. Yeah, I'm happy. It's finally happening because they've kind of been yeah. talking about wanting to make a Metal Gear Solid movie for the longest time. Um. I don't know, like maybe ten years at this point. Um, oh wow! So it's been a long time coming. I'm who, excited, and who, I love this, Oscar Isaac. So. Who's making it? Good question. Or who's directing good it? Have they question. said? Good question. I actually don't know. Is it? Um, I I'm looking gotta it up think now. it's a Sony Pictures deal, but also, That's true. like this didn't this like come out of the blue? Like, were we oh, yeah, expecting was, this announcement? No. <laughs> I don't, I don't. Seems really strange. Yeah. Is anyone else surprised that it's not Kojima directing it? Yes, because they kick, they gave him the boot. Yeah. I guess that, oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Like, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yep. If right. he was still with Konami, maybe. But even then, I would think it's pretty. 
Well, I don't think it's risky because basically he's directing movies with every video game. Yeah, he's yeah, made. like his. So, yeah, his games are movies. <laughs> yeah, right. So, but it would. It, I I think it'd be very interesting. Mm-hmm. Like we're kind of missing out on the on the coolness of that. But. Yeah. I have answers, and also Sans Serif on chat had also answered. So it is Sony, um, Sony adapting Metal Gear Solid. Oscar Isaac is attached. It's currently in development with Jordan, I'm going to mispronounce this, Jordan Roberts. Jordan Vo Roberts on board to direct is V O G T, Vocht. V O G T hyphen Roberts. Um, huh. What else did that Vuch. person do? I'm uh, going to look uh, they it said, up uh, now. From uh, Kong Skull Island. Ah, uh, interesting. Interesting. Hmm. I like how all the articles that announced this um, all included pictures of Oscar Isaac next to not Solid Snake. Not like solid literally snake. every uh, yeah. snake that isn't solid. <laughs> If you're not familiar with with Metal Gear Solid, there's a lot of characters named Snake, but there's only one Solid Snake. But Aaron. But Jordan. In defense, (laughs) that's the most graphically appealing version of a snake. You don't think when PS1 Snake was a looker? (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Like, he doesn't even have eyes. He's just a headband and uh, (laughs) a a block (laughs) rectangle. He's a very serious man. So, I but and they're clones, so they're identical. So oh, okay. it's well, fine. That's what he's gonna okay, look like. Wait, so is Oscar Isaac also gonna play Liquid Snake? Oh, I'm gonna be disappointed. No, because they're not identical clones. Oh, but he true, could yeah. play Big Boss and Solid Snake. This is, it, true. is there? So I've played uh, two, two to maybe five hours of Metal Gear Solid Five. That's it. Oh God. Um, without what? getting into spoilers <laughs> and or this turning into the rest of the episode why are some of them liquid and some of them solid and some of them bosses like okay so it's just their names yeah okay just their names their codenames okay do i need yeah. to go over their, their real names aren't solid snake yeah. and liquid snake <laughs> dummy oh, oh, oh okay <laughs> richard snake like what, what? <laughs> uh, uh david david yeah david snake <laughs> Big Boss's real name is John. Yep. Oh, okay. we should um, we should God, take one of those. God, you sound like an um, idiot right now. Good. <laughs> <laughs> we should we should find one of those Metal Gear Solid name um generators, <laughs> or randomizers for ourselves. It's usually and then, it's usually like adjective and animal, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. We should we should just uh we should post those. <laughs> uh, post well, I feel right like now. they do that. Post them. Go they ahead. Do that. I'm on, doing them right now. Like, they do that on Google Sheets when you just sign in anonymously. <laughs> That's true. Like, That's curious right. koala. All right, I'm going to the first one. I should. Oh my god. Uh, the first, first website found. Uh, uh, first what? one I found says not what secure. What generation do I belong? This is too much. No, yeah, that, that that one looks that one looks sketchy. That's sketchy. I just want <laughs> put in your name. It spits back out something. I clicked on it now. Oh great! I just oh, want I a simple on. one. I'm not doing I think I'm getting a live all. virus as we speak. Oh, I'm backing out. I'm backing out. <laughs> I'm backing out. So. I wonder if it's going to be like a big action popcorn movie because mm. I guess that makes sense yeah. in the in the big scheme. Um, mm-hmm. The plot is like always been just super convoluted, convoluted on purpose almost. Yeah. So I don't know how they're going to simplify that or what they're going to do or how to yeah. adapt it. And I don't know if Oscar Isaac is going to do a voice <laughs> like oh, if he he's going to play him in a certain way. Yes, like well, very Oscar Isaac. Uh, yeah, Snake Oscar Isaac doesn't sound yeah. anything like Solid Snake. David Hater. They should just redub him with David yeah. Hater. Well, <laughs> Jordan, he's an actor. So he, yeah, he'll actor. act. Well, in the one you play, two to three hours over, yes. whatever. Uh, who, Carrie, who was I Kiefer's, playing as? <laughs> Kiefer Sutherland is actually the voice of Snake in that one, which is this a is departure. True. Wait, and you were playing. If you really want to know, Kiefer Snake. <laughs> If you really want to know, uh, I think I think his name was Punished Snake in that one. Well, the first, um, okay, the first, to get really technical, that, the first two to three out. Oh god, it's been so long. Because <laughs> there's yeah. Ground Zeroes. You, you're playing as Big Boss. Big Boss. Okay, I, I play Ground remember, Zeroes. I can't remember the beginning of. No, in 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 the first level of Metal Gear Solid Five, you are still. Okay. No, you're not actually Big Boss. Yeah, then you're. You Punish. get facial reconstru- reconstruction surgery to look like Big Boss, and you do another mission. And so you're playing as someone who 
is just kind of a soldier who they fucked up your face. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so Metal Gear Solid Five is not technically any of those Easy, characters. Let's go. Yeah, it's a totally different state. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Snakes. Do, snakes, do y'all? Snakes do, thank you, thank you. Yeah, let's just let them. Let's just. I'm gonna. Fusion. Okay, so here's, here's a question. Here's a question. If, as people who know, clearly know a, a lot about um, snakes and their their various rigidness, um, what if if, if you, you would you love were, Metal Gear Solid Three where you play as the naked snake? That's le- my favorite one. <gasps> Best Oscar Isaac is naked face. snake. Yes. <laughs> what if you could if you could compare what you're hoping this turns out to be to like another franchise? Mm. Oh, you know, like, well, like, like as, as, as we like, know, do you want this video to be like games, a born movie? Oh or, god, yeah. Uh. Video games never get adapted well into movies. What? Um, uh, excuse me, Doom. You know what? Mission Impossible would be cool. I think comparing it to Mission Impossible because there's some there's some gadgetry, there's some stealthiness, mm. uh, some mm-hmm. likable characters. I think that's that's the best I could hope for. Yeah, I don't know. It's so it's hard for me because again, this is like my favorite game franchise. Yeah. So I'm very protective of it as it is. Mm-hmm. Um, plus, mm-hmm. Kojima is like notorious for yeah. having like well, nine Aaron, minutes. Aaron, you're not you're not gonna get that at all. I know. Yeah. I know. That's why I'm like. Is, so do I, is there even a point? Like, I feel like I can just watch all the cutscenes on YouTube and right, yeah. You're me. you as a super fan yeah. are going to be disappointed by the movie. <laughs> yeah, no definitely. What. So I, I it'll take a lot to watch it me. unless it's on HBO Max. <laughs> then I'll watch it. <laughs> what if? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's like to me, it's like at that point, just buy the rights and name it something else. Mm-hmm. Like use like, no, oh, you get brand, oh, brand already, recognition. Like, you're gonna get yeah. people to see it by it yeah, being you are, your, Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wish I wish we had like a as a society. A society, I wish we had a, a way that was acceptable to just be like, eh, it's kind of like it, but don't worry about it. All right, uh, <laughs> don't worry about it. can we get a line a line of dialogue and we all do our best snake impression? Sure, yeah. I know what he sounds like. So yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, a line of dialogue. Best. No, I still want to do our code name. Oh know? yeah, do I it. Need, I need. I need to find a good one. Chat, help me. Why? <laughs> You've been looking this whole Shut time. Up. You haven't found anything. All right, I found. I want to circle. Metal Gear Solid: Ten Most Memorable Quotes. Okay. Uh, thank you, thegamer.com. Uh, sure, that okay. works for me. Here, I'm gonna slack you all. Uh, individual, uh, individual oh. secret, uh, secret messages oh and uh i and and you're all gonna you're all gonna tell me you're gonna do it jordan we're gonna start with you okay um jordan we're gonna start with you uh okay you're slacking it to me yeah i'm gonna slack it to you okay okay ready here you go here we go here we go this is your first one this is your first <clears> one. <throat> um, would you like to know just... which snake it was uh that would, that would inform your no that that won't inform well it's i already pasted it so it's it's too late <laughs> okay <clears throat> the nightmares they never go away snake Ooh, i actually don't good. remember i actually don't remember what line that is so i don't know that uh, yeah oh, this can't be this to? can't be a line said by snake because he's talking he's to himself talking apparently himself. yeah <laughs> well oh, i look i just what do you want from me they're clones <laughs> See, this is not- <laughs> Why is Carrie doing this? This is not a line. No, for this snake. is great. Say it. <laughs> say it now. It's not say snake. it. <laughs> say it with emphasis. What's it gonna be? Loyalty to me or loyalty to your mission? What? That's, That's not what snake it. sounds like. It is now. I'm directing. Well, first off, it's not even a snake line, so I'm the. How do you know now. that? You don't know. It's the boss. Okay. Uh, Very different from Big Boss. This is just the boss. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I've given, That's I've true. I'm going to do an anime voice. I've slacked you your, uh, yours. Uh, okay. This is very important. Okay. Okay. I'm going to try. Okay. From here on out, <laughs> you're Big Boss. <laughs> now, if we can all just, uh, so we could grab that. Uh, oh, hey, I found a new article, 15 specifically best solid snake quotes. 
Is God that better? <laughs> this is done. We should move on. This is going to be a to read the future. Because we like <laughs> we like snakes, own. so let's talk about <laughs> oh, sorry, Carrie. Hey Isa. I don't have any more tears to shed. <laughs> That's actually a snake line. I know I found it. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Freddie. Alright. Well, Aaron's was the best, so we didn't even really need it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can I do one um, more? A weapon to suppress okay. Metal Gear. <laughs> <laughs> Building the future and keeping the past alive are one in the same thing. That's, that's actually wow, it's like deep. snakes here. Yeah, yeah honestly, yeah. yeah. I'm. I mean, I'm basic. I'm basically Kiefer Suffer, Sufferwood. Sufferwood. What's his name? I don't Kiefer know. Snake? Make me. Make me suffer. Kiefer Snake. Kiefer Snake. <laughs> Kiefer snake. Kiefer snake. Um, speaking of, we like snakes. Uh, we like um. Wiggly things. <laughs> oh my God, Isa! Oh, time to rate I know the where segue. This is going. Isa, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> even, even before I segue, okay, I, I have I have the attention of everyone now. Um, it's a good time for our uh, for to remind everyone uh, to create a free account, a free account. Join us in chat. Um, uh, thank you, chat, by the way, for being involved and being here. We really appreciate you. Um. It's the holidays, so uh, we do have a promotion going on right now. Um, uh, someone remind me what the link is again. Store.roosterteeth.com, I'm pretty sure. Um, yes, that sounds right. You can get Rooster Teeth merch. Whoa, wow. I have no shirt. Oh, my buy God. Buy that shirt, please. please. Buy the shirt. You can also buy um, your own Oscar Pine. Look at yeah. You can buy your own Oscar Pines. Look at that toy! Look at him. He's a little <laughs> keychain. So I asked merch specifically, hey, can we get more Oscar merch? And they said yes. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Um, the last day uh, to ship at standard shipping rates and get it in time before the holidays is the 14th of this month. Um, so get your merch now while you can so that we can get it in time for the holidays. Uh, Wednesday, tomorrow, uh, there's a call out. December 9th, Wednesday, it's 20% off Ruby merch. And then there's a Ruby drop, energy drop for December. Um, and if you're listening to this cool. on Thursday or Friday when it comes out later, uh -huh. uh, this is why you should be watching it live. Oh, this is true. For exclusive true. exclusive tips like this. And also hearing and also, all the stuff that we're going to cut out. <laughs> and, and also, happy birthday, Aaron. Oh! Yay! No, Yay! It's, not, it's not my birthday yet. You can't tell it's me. Yeah, but if you're listening to this on Friday, no, it's your birthday. No, no, it's so not. happy it's birthday, birthday, Aaron. I, I wasn't born. I just came into existence as a full-grown adult. Hey, e yeah, Aaron, we said idea. we were done with Solid Snake quotes. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't born. I just came into the ether. <laughs> See, it's it's if, if you just say it kind of an angsty thing with like a little bit of gravel, it sounds like something <laughs> Solid Snake would say. It's oh. true. Even though I can't, I can't growl. That's why I didn't even get attempted. I just went yeah. the opposite direction. Yeah. Here, I'm, I'm going to try it. I'm going to do a little experiment. Can y'all tell? Or, oh. Issa, I'm sorry. Were you, were you done? With the, we're in the middle of a yes, read and a segue. Issa's about yeah. to do a, a great segue that's to right. our next topic. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. That's better than what I was okay. going to do. Um, All right. Wiggly things. We, we, like, we like snakes. That means we like <laughs> octopuses. Octopi. Um, <laughs> and things with many, many limbs, like spiders. Alfred Molina's oh returning wow. to the Spider-Man series. Hey, that was good. That was good. <laughs> that was a pretty good segue. That's Word better than what I was going to do. That's a solid three. Yeah. I give that a three. <laughs> well, three, three out of three. three. Oh, thank you. No, thank you. three out of five. <laughs> I thought that was the scale. <laughs> um... Uh, on top of Alfred Molina coming back, there's actually been more news uh, coming out that even more people from the yeah. Sam Raimi whoa. trilogy are also coming back. Like, uh, uh, whoa, Kirsten Dunst, I think. Yeah, and yeah, Kirsten Dunst actors. and uh, Emma Stone from the Andrew Garfield. Whoa, one. are they doing like yeah. Into the Spider Verse live action? It's, some bullshit? it's what it's. Like. It's multiverse, baby. Yeah, whoa. it's a multiverse now. Yeah. So the Doctor <laughs> Strange movie coming out is. The Madness of the Multiverse, and I think that one comes out first. And oh, okay. Spider-Man's in it, or Doctor oh. Strange is definitely in this new Spider-Man movie too. If, so oh, okay. it's gonna have something to do with that. If okay. if they oh. hold on to it as a secret and also introduce Miles Morales in <gasps> this, I would. Dude, could you my imagine? Shit. Like oh. announce all he this does, other we stuff. We know we know he does exist in canon. Yeah. 
now. Maybe do you think is Gambino too old now? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> well, he's already he's already he already <laughs> plays his uncle. His name is Childish Gambino. His uncle, yeah. No, I just you know, like there's a whole like petition to get him in the Spider-Man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Oh yeah. And and they threw him a bone by playing the uncle. Um, Miles Morales' uncle. uncle. That's yeah. right. That's right. Um, and I think was that in is that in the MCU ones or is that in the Sony ones? It was the so- it was the it was Homecoming, so it was okay. it was the MCU. So he's in the MCU. So the only one okay. I yeah. So Miles Morales is in the MCU. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. So they are doing. Uh. Speaking of Doctor Strange, because that also reminds me too that you mentioned that um Doctor Strange's whole movie is about the multiverse thing. Mm-hmm. They did say that Black Wit, not Black Widow. Fuck. Uh. Mm, Scarlet Witch is going to be ah. in the Doctor Strange movie as well, which nice. probably ties into the um, the new WandaVision show. show? For, yeah, I'm the so WandaVision excited. show. I'm so very excited for that show. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Hi. Huh? Huh? What? Wasn't, what? wasn't there going to be a Black Widow movie? Y- yes. That's one of the ones that got pushed, yeah. Oh, shit. Yes. Man. There's, it got it was pushed. supposed to be on. It, it got pushed to november but then it probably got pushed again and nobody noticed oh really yeah oh, wow. sounds about right I totally sorry like I, the james bond I, movie like... was also supposed to come out last month for a second i thought maybe it popped into a another universe like with the bear scene thing and i was like did i come from a universe that was earlier for this movie and then i didn't yeah no she she's dead man oh man <laughs> oh man uh, um so so that's one news um yeah so news. I, no, I'm very excited about this movie now because yes. can you just imagine the An- Andrew Garfield, Tom Holland, and Tobey Maguire Spider Man interacting? I I Doesn't would that watch sound an stupid as hell. Series, <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> so, yeah, that's an idea. I, <laughs> it's so crazy. I feel like Tobey Maguire still looks the same. That yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. What's Tobey Maguire done recently? He's not. Re- I don't know recently, but he has still been doing movies. Just I don't know about 2019 or 2020. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, couldn't they also? Okay, hang on. Let's if, let's uh, let's go deeper. The the newest Spider-Man games, they mm. used like a real person as the model, didn't they? I think they did. Well, see. Like specifically the Miles Morales game. Well, so so, th- so they did it for the Spider Man game, and then they modeled it off a different person when they re remastered. I was just about to say that because they like redid. Oh, yeah, uh, I think Spider-Man. both of them were based off of a real person. Are you oh. looking for hints as to like who else is going to be in this movie? Well, I was just saying like they could keep going and like add in like the live action actor being the video game. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Like let's get them. Let's just fucking get them all in there. Put in We're gonna do it. Let's do it. Animated Miles Morales from the, yeah. the Spider Verse. By the that way, would be trippy. Because uh, I don't, I don't think I, I can't remember if I talked about it or not. Um, if if you if you do like Spider Man, the Miles Morales game is really fucking good. If you haven't uh, gotten it or played it yet, uh, and the, I like playing as the lamp post. Do what? <laughs> I said I like playing as the lamp post. Yeah, that <laughs> bugs happen. Okay, Jordan. <laughs> Oh yeah, there uh the there's a there's a suit in the the game. Uh that there's the the into the Spider-Verse suit and there's also yeah. a a power up that lets you it plays back all of his animation in stepped uh so that it looks like the movie. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. that's cool. It's cool. It's cool. At first that's I was like, cool. okay, and then I was like I swung around for a little bit. I was like this is cool. <laughs> I like it. This Very good cool. movie. And I'm glad it I'm glad like that movie is like opening doors for more creative animation mm-hmm. yeah um and also apparently multiverse content <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> because mm-hmm. of this new spider-man movie i i'm so excited like i was very skeptical at first because i think the first one they announced was um oh my god what is his Andrew name Garfield? no uh electro why i jamie oh, fox yeah. as electro oh, being really? in it and i was like and then they announced like all the other spider-man guys coming back and i was like oh yeah kombucha kombucha tastes good i I completely Um, skipped the andrew garfield yeah i only i only watched i only watched those on planes (laughs) and and honestly i never even saw the third uh raimi spider-man that one's the best 
The second one is the best. That one has all the memes in it. That one has all the good memes in it. This is true. Two different (laughs) kinds of best. (laughs) That's why I didn't watch (laughs) it. (laughs) Whoa, Jordan Spears, are you going to be in the new Spider Man? Pizza time. (laughs) Pizza time. Speaking of uh, video games, I know Sam wanted us to talk about it, and Carrie, you kind of wanted us to talk about it. Oh, we're talking about bug snacks again? No. I <laughs> Close. Uh, so, so this is um, uh, today's the eighth. You're watching this live. Um, if you are watching this uh, when it goes out for first members, and that's two on days the away, 10th, uh, you're also probably not watching it and playing Cyberpunk instead. Um, <laughs> I'm excited for this game. I, I'm I'm lowering my expectations, but I'm excited for this game. I just had a question for y'all. This is this is not cyberpunk related, but it came to me from cyberpunk. How do do y'all look at reviews before you play games or watch movies or, or shows or anything like that, or do you do you prefer to go in fresh, like not knowing anything? Mm. For me, if it's a like a new game or new movie like that's been out within the past like year or so like i won't touch reviews at all if it's like a really old game um that's like mm-hmm. i don't know like mid 2000s or older like maybe i'll like look into a review or a lot of, like i'll watch a few youtubers that like do um uh, video game essays on like older content um, right mm-hmm. and so those kind of turn into a review and those are usually like okay that's it's kind of like in that genre where it's not too spoilery but it kind of like intrigues me at the same time so sure like that's i think that's an acceptable level for me mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Issa, Issa Jordan, what about y'all? i do have an answer <gasps> i hope so um <laughs> i only ever really read um read headlines when it comes yeah by. that's, that's what i yeah. did with cyberpunk Mm-hmm. yeah so it's like um because that tends to be the general discourse depending on how big the game gets um nowadays i've been more into kind of just like if i see a game and it immediately interests me then i'm just gonna buy it yeah. um mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah especially if it sounds like something that i like like for example spirit fair it was already mm-hmm. time you you got me at time management yeah. so <laughs> <laughs> i was already gonna buy it and but also like uh the first time i saw it was the trailer so really it's it's more about like looking at the trailer mm-hmm. i'm playing aegis rim right now which everyone who i've talked to about it or has said good things about it has said go into it blind so yeah pretty much i'm like okay well word of mouth um mm-hmm, mm-hmm. word of mouth basically a headline right yeah. so that that's kind of my my experience of like uh eh, if i'm gonna get it then i'm gonna get it but otherwise i'll probably just read a couple headlines and then make a decision <laughs> oh i forgot to add on to my answer i did mm-hmm. forget um there is a youtuber i don't know if y'all are familiar with moist critical um, moist yes. critical. <laughs> he is great uh he does uh moist meters which is like his review uh, moist <laughs> and he'll talk about how like moist something is and usually if it's something i'm really interested in and i don't want to be spoiled i'll like just skip to the end and see like yeah. what percentage he gives it uh, how, but otherwise how moist if it's like this? an older game or a game i'm not interested in, i'll watch like the whole thing this game is sopping wet <laughs> yeah how... it's good i'm gonna um, quick tangent here oh, please because how long until that enters like the public lexicon moist? that they start they start putting it on um, like trailers or like the back of the box and stuff because they started doing it with Rotten Tomatoes. Oh. And that oh. that is a sentence that doesn't really make sense. Mm. So it's like game certified moist. You know? <laughs> yeah. like how long, how long until be, that starts happening? That would be a great thing for like an indie dev to do to like get to, to review the game and yeah like, they can put yeah. like our game certified moist. It'll hey yeah. you know it'll make me do it'll make me do this. What? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> there was um, interesting. Uh, there was randomly um, one of those one of that that video game about moving stuff. It was basically uh, death uh, rating. Crap. No, <laughs> very good. It it was a co op game. I oh, think, and like it was moving about out? like moving for yeah, moving out. Is I think it that so. one? Yeah, it, um, it's, it's like it's almost like an undercooked kind of game. Oh. Yeah, so it's undercooked, you're, you're, but like yeah. better co-op from what from what oh, I remember. Oh, shots fired. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's um, moving out. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Moving out. I remember I watched a trailer for it because it was on a um, one of like the Switch Nintendo Direct ones, and there was a quote from our very very own beloved Funhouse. <gasps> what? 
they had a quote. They attached a funhouse quote to it and a testimonial. And I was like, I can't tell if that was a good or a bad. (laughs) (laughs) Which sounds like funhouse. (laughs) So I'm, uh, yeah, that's my. I, I, Isa, I'm very much in the same boat as you were. Like, I, honestly, the thing I do more than anything else is I'll go to like, there's, there'll usually be a subreddit thread that is like an aggregation of all the reviews Mm-hmm. And I'll just skim through that and look at, like, any, oh, like, yeah. quotes of, like... I mean, so far, basically, people have said cyberpunk is interesting, it's really ambitious, it's buggy as fuck. Um, Do you think that's, like, hampered your excitement for it, though? Um, No, because the reviews are, are also kind of ridiculous, and, like, I don't... I think everybody knows that like, the video game review system is broken, but it's one of those things oh, yeah. that like nobody addresses. Like I, I, I shit you not. I'm not going to get the exact quote, but one of their reviews, like the, the pull quote from it was cyberpunk isn't a perfect game, but it's definitely like the next level or something. It was something like that, mm. but they used the term. It's not a perfect game. And the score was 10. And they gave it a perfect score. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? And I was just like, okay, <laughs> well, okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, I mean, I, I'm one of those people where like, I, I have had, I, I would rather go by word of mouth. Like I'm, I'm not, it's not, I would not say it's like held me back at all. Um, but I, you know, I'm, I've, I've lowered my expectations a little bit, Mm -hmm. just a little bit. I Um, I think we can all agree that the only true video game review system scale we can trust is X play. Yes. Ah. Uh. <laughs> 100%. They are the truest oh. game journalists. Oh, I actually and with haven't G4 played coming a back. I haven't played a game since G4 went off. Yeah. Oh, that's so I mean, if Adam Sessler back. is not telling it's me coming back yet, Aaron. whether or not a game's worth it, I'm not going to play it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's. If I don't hear a four out of five, I ain't. Oh, it's, my it's, God. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like the pause was there, but like we know what was coming. <laughs> oh man <laughs> only true millennials know <laughs> they, I, I wish they had done or maybe they didn't remember i wish they had done like changed what it was out of every time oh, like, four out of like 20 yeah so it's like you just yeah. never know a four out of four <laughs> <laughs> we give it's it a 3.8 of... out of 3.9 <laughs> out of 3.7 take that <laughs> <laughs> yeah i honestly yeah i i'm I, I i think we have talked this before but like i uh i'm i would so much rather just like wait i would just I, i'm just gonna play stuff myself like i, I just yeah. i i'm so about yeah. the like first experience i'm one of those annoying people that if you tell me that there's an interesting twist in something it's ruined it for me yeah not not yeah, telling yeah, me yeah. the twist yeah. but telling me that there is a twist, a twist i'm like oh, yeah. fuck, it's gone yeah yeah now yeah, you're it, on the it's lookout like that for expectation it. right yeah, yeah. It, it, it's like that ex- um <laughs> there is a, a thing that happened to me earlier where uh, I didn't want to get spoiled for from Aegis Room, but um, my so put on the po- Pe- Besties podcast where they talk about video games, mm-hmm. um, and they they warned us there there was a bit of a spoiler in there. Um, there's like okay spoiler now and then. <laughs> Where you just like stop it, stop it, stop it. Yeah, I, I, my ESO forgot that I was there or what they had talked about, and so I just listened, and I was just like, (laughs) I was sad for (laughs) for like a good hour. I was just like, oh, that was even. It was so nondescript too, because they didn't say any character either. It was just like a situation. Right. But I was like, when everyone dies, I had already. Yeah, I was like, I already had my suspicions, and now. I'm a little oh, sad. No. <laughs> well, and, and the worst too, because it's like I, I, you know, everybody can have their opinions. Like some people don't care about it at all, and some people like super do. Mm-hmm. But the worst, the worst is trying to explain uh, to somebody who doesn't care why you're now like super sad. <laughs> and it's like they can't yeah. understand, which is fine. Like it's it's okay. But you're just like yeah. you just know it. You've ruined my day. It's not your fault. <laughs> it is your fault. But I forgive you. Yeah. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Just know that you've permanently ruined something for me. Um, <laughs> My ass felt the, so bad. They're like, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I was yeah. like, the feeling you get. You just be like, it's not okay. <laughs> but I'm it breaking will. Breaking up with you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm moving out. Bye. I'm moving out. Bye. The the feeling you get when you enjoy something without knowing anything about it, 
and it's like totally being discovered for the first time by mm-hmm. you and and in the experience in the moment is so like worth going after again that yeah. like I don't mm. even I'm not even sorry when I don't want things spoiled like um mm. like no, don't I, tell I, me I will anything like about interrupt it because the be like, no 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 stop yeah the less yeah, I yeah. know yeah. about something the better chance there is of just like me experiencing something completely fresh um I, and I, it's really hard to get that especially if you're going after reviews for stuff yeah um mm, mm. like yeah uh one of my favorite movies is cabin in the woods simply because oh, the the movie oh, theater it. experience mm-hmm. went in there knowing absolutely nothing about it and if oh. you had explained to me before what it's about i'd be like okay yeah it's whatever but like watching it unfold i'm like oh this is an <laughs> amazing movie um I feel and so... similarly okay kind kind of on the other side of the coin is being interested in something and then maybe seeing the reviews and it's not good and you're like oh no i'm not gonna enjoy it uh when the witcher came out i didn't read any reviews or anything Mm -hmm. watched it enjoyed Uh the series immensely i really liked the i really Mm -hmm. liked the show and but like reviews were very lukewarm to negative on isn't that the weirdest thing when you're like oh Uh yeah i guess i wasn't supposed to like that yeah am i am i bad are they bad (laughs) Am I garbage? Are they? Yeah. <laughs> Are we all just different kinds of trash? I don't. Yeah. I... So so reviews can do a lot of influencing mm-hmm. on both yeah. sides. I mm-hmm. I am so I still consider myself so the two two things I I managed to like like hold off on and dodge and still got to experience that I just I I I'm still in, in disbelief that I was able to do it. Um. I I read um every Harry Potter book until halfway through the last book and then i stopped just because like of life at the time part t- teen the years ah. you know uh and i managed to go into the very last harry potter movie completely without knowing anything Ooh, not a thing interesting um I well that's I, not even the biggest like spoiler in that series it's though. not so it's you not. Sur- you survive that no i mean i saw like i uh this is sort of another time but like i was in i was in england when the oh, fourth cool. one came out. I'm sure my parents will text me later. Uh, it was when one of them came out, and literally we went to like their version of Walmart at midnight, and somebody bought the book, went through the line, and just started reading quotes from it to like spoil people. Wow, like, people are assholes. Um, I hate that. The other one for me was Undertale. I I didn't play that game until like a year and a half ago, me but too. I didn't know anything about it. All I knew was like. Oh. I like I, I I'm one of those people like I there, there's a funny skeleton boy that's all I knew right about and, and I just I knew about the concept of uh uh, uh pacifism yeah like uh, like yeah. doing a pacifist run like that was all I knew I like I usually like yeah. to note like the the one thing I'll usually google ahead of time when I play a game is is there anything I can miss mm-hmm. and then I like mm-hmm. I like read the rev- like the list like squinting and I'm like <laughs> and I okay. tell you one thing. When with I get that to game, this part, that, do this. Okay, cool. That game fucked me up in one way, and that was I didn't know about the pacifism thing, so I didn't know, Ooh. I didn't know what to do. And the first, the first person you fight is the nice lady. Uh oh. Yeah. And I'm just like, well, <laughs> there's only one way through this. I'm going to kill the old lady, and it was so sad when I did Ooh. that I was like. I bet there's another way to do this. What have I done? So, yeah. So I went back to my save before that and uh did it correctly yeah <laughs> and spared her and had mercy but then you go into but the then. next room and then there's flowey the flower being like i know what you did i know what you did <laughs> yeah. you killed her and you felt so bad about it <laughs> i was just like i was like oh, oh no. i i know what you oh, no. did Oh no! It's you him. killed her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, so it's... that was fucked up. God. Yeah, that also was... reminds oh. me. God. That that also reminds me of uh, my wife trying to play The Wolf Among Us, which is a game <laughs> that's totally influenced by yeah. every decision you make. Oh, and she was so stressed out about getting the wrong ending that she stopped playing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That that would that was me. Yeah. Kind of <laughs> related. Um, I definitely feel like morality in in games or modern games anyways, are like, it's very, um, 
usually straightforward. Like, they warn you ahead. Like, hey, mm -hmm. your um, actions have consequences, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Whereas, like, I feel like older games, um, like Silent Hill, like the early Silent Hill games, uh, there is, like, morality in it, but not in the sense how they are, is done today. Like, um, like, if you don't pick up certain items, you'll get, like, a bad ending. Um, right. Like, you, you have no way of, like, knowing that unless you have, like, yeah. the old, like, book paper guide or whatever. Mass Effect it's 2 kind of did that, too. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I love games like that. Where you that had to go on all their missions. They weren't like branching um, paths. And if you don't, they were yeah. still like better, bad, like good or, or worse endings. Yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah. like Bioshock, like, I mean, feel like that one's pretty obvious because it's like, you're either going to kill this child or not. Whereas with Silent Hill, it's like a little bit more ambiguous. So mm -hmm. oh, yeah. it's like, are you going to scream on this hill or not? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that was a are you going to get the, find the right key? Or... No, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. It's a good joke. It was a good joke. It was, it was <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I'm just saying. I sorry, my my one of my monitors like freaked out, uh, so I can't see the topic sheet anymore, or the time, or the chat. So I'm just kind of, I'm just here now. Um, well, oh, we have fine. about four minutes left. Let's give yeah. a shout out to the Mario Lopez movie. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I could do What's so. Happening? Mario Lopez, um, so uh, is playing. The Colonel article Sanders. I linked to is is Entertainment Weekly, which is just eu.com. <laughs> <laughs> they have a very good idea. Uh, like Mario Lopez. It's Ew. true. Uh, is playing Colonel Sanders in a Hallmark TV mini movie based on KFC. It's a KFC's... 15 minute long soap that will air on Lifetime uh, this Sunday. Uh, that's weird because it's it's not April 1st. So why is that? <laughs> <laughs> and it's called A Recipe for Seduction. And the image is pretty great. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If but KFC also did the dating sim. They did. Mm -hmm, Why are they mm -hmm. trying to get us so horny? That's how you get chicken. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. They already, they already <laughs> got me saying breast and thigh in public. <laughs> and leg. <laughs> Let me take a bite out of that thigh. <laughs> that leg. That's what are they doing? Leg. Did, did, did they see like the success of the... like? Are they just going to start doing porn now? When the handsome chef, Harlan Sanders, arrives with his secret fried chicken recipe and a dream, oh he sets in motion a series of events that unravels the mother's devious plans. Will our plucky heiress <laughs> escape to her wintry heiress. happily ever after with Harlan at her side, or will she cave to the demands of family and duty? <laughs> duty. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like uh, it's 15 minutes long. Yeah, I feel like KFC is doing this for, like, clout i guess like yeah. i don't think really people care about the movie itself it's just like oh kfc is making a dating sim or a movie all like major brand like social media kind of marketing now is stuff like this it's yeah. stuff it's like funny. thirst trapping colonel sanders with mario lopez <laughs> and I, making can I a be honest, though? he looks good if i if dating somebody sim. gave me the opportunity to direct that I would try and make that my fucking opus. <laughs> like, um, nice imagine, support. yeah, just making it amazing and just being able to be like, yeah, that's right. I took this stupid idea that. and I made it, I made you cry. <laughs> I did that. Isn't that basically? There he is. The, um, oh there he God. is. Look, he looks Look so it. good. Oh, is Who? They're Who aging knows? him up for this, clearly. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Mario. Is he going to talk with a Kentucky Fried accent Mario like Lopez. Benoit Blanc? Kentucky Fried <laughs> accent. God, look at that bicep. <laughs> Carrie, you mentioning how you just you like take this idea and like want to make it your opus. Yeah. I feel like isn't that what Phil Lord and Christopher Miller did <laughs> with like every of their like recent movies? Yeah. After like a certain point in the 2000s. Man, if you, if you search for Mario Lopez shirtless, his age doesn't come up. That's weird. <laughs> That's very uh, weird. He's 47 years old. Nice. Doesn't look a day over good. 46. Doesn't look good. a day over... How old am I? <laughs> yeah. uh, anyone... Um, hey, anyone uh, I know... Where was that time? Anyone... Uh, guess his height. Hurry. Guess his height? 5'10". 5'7". 6'1". Jordan got it right out of the gate. Oh, fuck. Oh! Jo Jordan, our he, official he looks Mario like a five Lopez tenor. expert. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, so that is it for our episode, everyone. Thank you for coming. Thanks, Carrie, Aaron, Jordan, for joining us. Um, Thanks, Isha. Thanks, Isha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
if you guys are here, uh, you guys should watch other shows on this website, such as Ruby, <gasps> every Saturday, 10 a.m. for first members, and also first members and regular members, and everyone, really. But first members get to watch newer episodes first. There's also RVB Zero every Monday at 10 a.m. Haha. It's a good time. Same, same thing. Uh, first members get earlier episodes. <laughs> they get <laughs> things earlier, new episodes. first. They get things. Um... Uh, there's another thing I wanted to show. Uh, Aaron and I are making gingerbread oh, houses yeah. on Instagram Live this Friday at 11 a.m. It's birthday, not just a gingerbread so all, house. All better show up, or I'll be pissed. Yeah, we all better show up for Aaron's birthday. Yeah. Where it's not just a gingerbread up, house. We are also we are making the Schnee Manor yes. out of um, out of food food goods. Yeah. So uh, check us out live on Instagram this Friday, 11 a.m. Uh, Central Central Time. Um, also, my last thing that I wanted to throw out there is I figured out my Metal Gear Solid name, and it's Screaming Snake. <laughs> Screaming Snake. It's, it's That's how we good. should end the show. All That's right. very good. Okay. All right. Okay. Snake. Screaming Snake out. Snake. <laughs> Snake. Snake. I don't get the reference. <laughs>